Investigation reveals surprising new numbers about handicap placard holders in our area. The top spots in the state are right here in Northeast Ohio. Kristen Volk took an in-depth look at the data and rode along with police as they nabbed placard violators. Take a look at this map. The zip code with the highest number of placard holders in the state is right here in Elyria. About one in every five residents has one of these blue tags. And people we spoke to there say that's evident by the sheer frustration they face in running those daily errands. Well, it's just full all the time. You come to the store, it seems there, there's not enough space. Raymond Gaines tells me it's a problem that he deals with a lot. The open handicap spaces here in Elyria are sparse. You know, I have bad knees and everything like that, and uh, the closer you can get to the door, the better off you are. Oftentimes, Raymond says he can't get close to the door. The handicap spots frequently taken. This data that we obtained from the State Bureau of Motor Vehicles may explain why. Raymond is one of 10,000 handicap placard holders here in Elyria in zip code 44035, the most for any zip code in Ohio. There's a lot of us old folks that need it. It's an area where the median age is 39. A half hour east of Elyria is the zip code with the second highest number of placard holders in the state. That's right here, zip code 44130 which includes Middleburg Heights and Parma Heights. One in every six residents has a placard. Your placard that's in your window, it expired in January. Just get it fixed, okay? That's a statistic that surprises even the Parma Heights Police Department, which, like Elyria Police, does routine placard enforcement. Most often what, what we deal with is when um, you'll see all the spots are full, except for these ones right up designated for the handicap right by the access entryway. Um, and so people take advantage of that easy spot. On our ride along this week, Parma Heights police ticketed two cars. Expired plates. Both of which had expired placards displayed. The fine, 250 bucks. How easy is it for a patient to get a handicap placard from a doctor? So it's probably not as easy as it seems. Christine Alexander is a family medicine doctor at Metro Health Medical Center. She, like every other doctor in Ohio, has to sign off on a handicap placard application like this one, certifying the patient is entitled to it. And there is specific medical criteria that each physician must follow before granting someone a placard. We're going to see this trend. The baby boomers, as they get into the senior years, they are going to be a bigger and bigger piece of our population. We also looked into the number of placard holders here in Cuyahoga County, and get this, the number far surpasses that of Franklin County in Ohio, which is of similar size. And in both places, the number of holders are inching up each year. In the studio, I'm Kristen Volk, News 5.